The longer I have to look at these things, the more my dirty mind wanders. They really do look like a cross between a butt, a boob, and a dick. And I know, it's just maximum potty humor, but I mean, come on, they're so like phallic and yet cheeky, and they literally have a nipple head. Like, that's not my fault, that's evolution's fault. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Tasty Planet Forever. So last episode, some of you guys might remember that I tweaked the code of this game so that we would have access to all of the bonus levels and the hidden characters and just everything. And of course, the most common request I got from you guys was to return and check out all of the alternate stuff for the Grey Goo Monster. At the end of the game, this should be the best of the best that Tasty Planet Forever has to offer. And I would imagine this isn't something that a lot of people have seen before. Thing is, last time we had a dingo turn into a baby. So I'm almost afraid to ask, what exactly is the sentient lab-created toilet bowl cleaner gonna turn into? A black hole. I mean, it makes sense that this would eat everything, or at least a lot more than, say, an octopus, a bee, or a mouse, but is this the first time we're gonna play as something in Tasty Planet that isn't alive? We'll start things off with a bonus level called All Abore, and I have no idea what this word means. Like, it's seriously pissing me off. I looked it up, it doesn't exist, it's not an abbreviation. Like, as far as I can tell, this is supposed to be some kind of stupid pun, but I have no idea where we are. What is this? Oh, we're eating electrons. We're picometers in size. Okay, that's weird. Like, usually when you picture a black hole, it's like the size of a sun, you know, it's gobbling up planets and, and solar systems and stuff like that, but I guess they could exist at a subatomic or an atomic level. I really have no idea. <laughs> These frickin' electrons are squirrely, though. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like trying to thread a needle with a noodle. This is absolute torture. I can't wait till I'm big enough to devour all existence. I'm gonna have to try super hard this episode not to nerd out about black holes. And that's not to say that I know a lot about them. I don't, nobody really does. Like we don't know what's on the other side. We don't really know what they're made up of. They're just the, the biggest mystery to us. They're, they're super interesting. Here we go. We've got some hydrogen nuclei, technically, right? We're gobbling up some water molecules. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going places. <laughs> But like, I, it just, there's, there's so much that you could say about a black hole. Like, does it actually grow bigger the more it consumes? And if that's the case, does that mean all of existence is eventually gonna enter a black hole? Like, do black holes disappear? Do they run out? I was, I was gonna say, of energy, but I don't even know if they're made up of energy. They're, they're consuming energy, right? Like, even light gets pulled into them. That's why they're a black hole. <laughs> we can see the light running around them like a ring in a toilet water bowl. Jesus, I think it just sucked my brain in for a second. <laughs> Whatever, first level is complete, we ate water. Next up, we have a level called Asteroid, which still doesn't mean all that much to me, but I kind of figured it had to do with asteroids and astronauts. Why are there a bunch of astronauts parading their way out of this asteroid's butthole? I'm confused. You guys already had problems before the black hole came along. Like, you're clearly stranded. <laughs> There's no way you were gonna get rescued. You're practically riding a bullet in space. The thing is so small and moving so fast, no spaceships can be able to land on it. <laughs> I'm the least of your concerns. Like, I really do hope there's still gonna be more progression than this. Because we went from being really, really small to multiple meters in length already. Like, I wanted to get to the point where I was you know, roaming down a street as a black hole. Where we eat a cat, we eat a dog, we eat a person, we eat a car. Like that kind of progression. I don't want to go straight to eating planets. Seeing planets get eaten by a black hole is pretty typical. I want the weird stuff. Come to think of it, there's no telling that I'm actually gonna see Earth. For all I know, Earth could be really far away right now. It's probably not that far, considering these idiots are all floating around, so I'm probably in the same neighborhood, generally. But I probably started with water floating around in space. See hydrogen and oxygen, and I just assume, oh yeah, well, that's, it's clearly water, and it's a puddle on a street that I'm gonna devour eventually, but I was probably on one of these asteroids. Very strange, and now we're eating, uh, now we're eating asteroids. 
Are they all covered in people? Is this what's left of the world? I keep trying to make sense of what's happening here. Meanwhile, I'm playing as a sentient black hole that keeps mumbling, yum, yum. Oompa. Oompa. No, do, do not give me stars. Trust me, I'll get to eating stars, don't you worry. I may have wasted a little bit too much time eating astronauts. I didn't think that was possible, but apparently I'm tardy to the party. Which part? Oh, they mean, they mean tardigrades. Oh, I'm small again. I'm back to being well, micrometers now, technically. We were picometers, now we're micrometers. So it keeps switching back and forth. <gasps> we're now kind of microscopic as opposed to atomic or subatomic. I never know what to consider that. Either way, I wish these gross looking butthole creatures would leave me alone. <gasps> I don't even want to get big enough to eat you. I just want you to stop eating my food. Is that so much to ask? The longer I have to look at these things, the more my dirty mind wanders. They really do look like a cross between a butt, a boob, and a dick. And I know, it's just maximum potty humor, but I mean, come on, they're so like phallic and yet cheeky, and they literally have a nipple head. Like, that's not my fault, that's evolution's fault. You can't go and blame me for seeing the unseeable. Oh, I, I just want to get rid of them. I just want to avoid them for a little bit longer. I'm now eating rotifers. So Ouch. we've moved up a little bit in the world, yet they still hurt me. They're looking a little bit smaller in comparison, though. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Come here, Rhoda first. God damn it. I don't even know how they're hurting me with their weird nipple heads. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. It should be like getting hugged by a padded bra. Like it's just pushed up against you. It's not that big a deal. Yet for some reason, this black hole is getting a little bit smaller every time I bump into them. I also really don't like their legs. If you could call them legs, they're not technically legs, but screw it, they're, they're leg-ish, they're, they're leg-y enough. Am I gonna get to the point where I can eat them? The level's almost over, I'm, I'm micrometers in length, and my score is seriously pathetic. Yes, finally, oh yeah, you wanna run from me now, do you? I don't think so, Mr. Tardigrades. <laughs> you said it yourself, I'm tardy to the party. Oh, hold on a second. Can why do they have to make a gross farting noise when you eat them? <laughs> of course they do, because they don't look enough like a butt as it is. Wow, I am really good at this game. Maybe a high iron diet will help me with that, so I really doubt it. <laughs> I get the feeling if my score is getting lower, they're gonna start taking stars away from me. Oh, we might get to the point where we can eat some human-made stuff. I would like that. This is very space-bound, though. I would imagine by the fact that we're eating Martian rocks that we're probably on Mars. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Ow. How do you run over a hole? You should be the one that takes damage from that, not me. Well, I'm all filled up on rocks, and I'm not going to be getting run over anymore. I would imagine we're now the right size to have people fall into us. <laughs> do you notice how a lot of them scream like girls? There's a good chance that many of them are women. You know what? I'm all on board with that. We need more female astronauts. <laughs> Not all of them are, obviously. I'm sure there's plenty of guys here that are screaming like girls and they get spaghettified. But that's what it's called, isn't it? When you get pulled into a black hole, it's spaghettification. <laughs> it sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Can you guys please stop running? I should have some kind of suckage, right? Stuff should be attracted to me. That's the whole point of a black hole. Even light can't escape it. People are always saying that I suck, but not where it matters. I am so close to getting my revenge on these rovers. I just need to eat a couple more expedition parties and we should be in the clear. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You know what, I'll take all the solar panels as well. This is what I've been waiting for. I want more levels like this with the bonus levels where stuff has escalation. You know, there's a whole lot of progress. We go from eating tiny little rocks to uh, pretty much entire Martian buildings. I did not get much of a chance to get my revenge. They're probably down there though. I, I'm still eating them. I just don't really notice. Well, that's one colony gone. I would imagine somebody's gonna be very pissed about this. Probably expensive to keep that stuff up. Then again, you're not gonna need money once you're spaghettified. Moving on to a very promising looking level in globe goals. Please tell me we're gonna get to eat the Earth. Stop the Earths from getting by. Earths, 
plural? Getting by what? Okay, I I ate, I ate two. Oh, is somebody taking soccer shots on me with Earths? <laughs> Again, did not know there were that many Earths. Interesting. So far, batting 100%. Oh, crap, crap. Okay, it's fine. It's not a, not, not a big deal. I'm not choking, you're choking, shut up. <laughs> so, you just have to get it between the, the planetary goalposts. I gotta stay in the middle and then react. There we go. Who's shooting at me right now? I, I kind of want to go over there and see. What if, what if we, ah, oh, crap. No, they could shoot on an angle. <laughs> okay, fuck. Ooh, you're pissing me off. You're, you're, I'm gonna go over there, you know, I'm rushing, screw it. Oh, I can't. Of course. Okay, so whoever's deciding to take all these shots is being a massive puss. We'll get to them eventually. Mark my words. <laughs> Nothing will escape us. We will eventually beat who is shooting at us. Or what is shooting at us. I just assume it's a who, but in all reality, I guess it could be a disgruntled planet. No, Earth is the one that's getting all the attention when everybody's talking about. Made Mars famous, the moon, and <laughs> even Jupiter is being used as goalposts, so it's probably Pluto. You know what? I'm willing to bet it's Pluto. He's taking it hard after we decided he wasn't a planet anymore, and then he was, and then he wasn't, and yeah. I, I don't really blame him. It, it, it makes a whole lot of sense. I'm mega meters long right now. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, I gotta say. Just a couple more Earths. Can you please not be so tricky? Just, 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 just give it a rest already. My score. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. Nice slow one. That's what I need in my life. Thank you. Oh my God. I dodged that one. Come on. <laughs> Listen, I'm not much of a soccer player. As you can probably tell by the fact that I call it soccer. <laughs> that should be a dead giveaway to anybody. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Really? That was worth a star and a half? I mean, I did do pretty well. Don't panic. Yeah, where the hell were you last level? <laughs> Eat 200 towels. Towels? Why am I a towel-eating black hole? Where am I? Or better yet, why is this a level? What are you willing to bet there is some genius astronaut who's currently going insane from the isolation? I mean, every other astronaut was sucked up by a black hole, so now he's just neatly arranging all of his extra towels to make cat faces on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to do that. That is how you get black holes. Like the mice or the ants of the universe. Well, I think it's safe to say mission accomplished. Still don't really know the purpose of the mission. Negative 13,000? I ate all your stupid towels. Well, I can tell you right now, my sanity is spiraling out of control, whatever the hell that means. I'm assuming you guys are spir spirulina, sp spiralina. Okay, either way, I'm just gonna eat you now. We're back to being micrometers again. I don't understand why they don't just make things progress in a logical manner. Why do they have to bounce us around? This game is so weird. This is supposed to be the pinnacle of Tasty Planet. Is this seriously all I'm gonna be eating right now? There's nothing here except for these weird pickup sticks. You gotta be kidding, this isn't even a level. That's like three or four levels now. I've skipped a couple of them that are just non-levels. It's like they got to the end of making this game where we're like, screw it, no one's ever gonna get enough stars. <laughs> but if they do, then they better be thoroughly disappointed. We'll make sure of that. I didn't even think this was possible, but they even ran out of puns. <laughs> like they're just straight up giving the levels descriptive titles now, like eat the red ones fast. What the red ones are exactly, I'll find out shortly as they walk into me. Of course they're crew members. A not so subtle Star Trek reference. I can get on board with that. If anything, I'm probably saving these people, right? I would imagine that they're gonna get run over and, and shot. What are the odds that these things are set to stun? Probably not, right? 
All right then, I guess I'm just gonna have to be the hero that these people deserve. Everybody get inside of me. I'll tell you, it has been a while since I've played a game with a gaping hole that yelled, get inside of me. I miss the good old days of YouTube where you could get away with that kind of stuff and still be monetized. How many of these people am I gonna have to eat? And why exactly is there a constant parade of rovers? Oh my God. And they're clearly wasting phasers. Is there some kind of Martian war happening right now? Wait, no, we're not on Mars. That guy's definitely not on Mars. Because Mars would be red. So are we on the moon? No, no, that, that one's mine and this one's mine and this one's mine. One more. So I'm not even gonna get to the point where I can eat the rovers. I'm just eating the red ones fast. <laughs> They're like the Skittles of the Star Trek crew. Not gonna lie, Tasty Planet Forever, you were losing me there, but a level called Laser Bears has piqued my interest once again. Uh, I don't know how big these bears are gonna be. Are you kidding me right now? <gasps> I thought it was gonna be like laser grizzly bears, not laser nippled bears. <laughs> Oh my god, these things are even more aggravating now. So, just to be clear, this is the same level we played earlier, but they just made it so that the nipple fires a laser. That's it. <laughs> oh my, just eat me. Just go ahead and finish me off. I don't even care. I'm not even gonna finish that last one. So you got two more levels to impress me, Tasty Planet Forever, and eat the pod bay doors, pal, isn't a good start. I don't even get that reference. It's probably a movie reference. It sounds like the kind of thing that Han Solo would mumble. Or San Holo, I guess. <laughs> they can't be too close. They gotta kind of knock things off a little bit. I've already got the hang of this. I just gotta press my hole right up against the door and then everything will kind of just hop into it. <laughs> there we go. No people for some reason. I didn't sign up to eat unmanned ships. Hardly is interesting. God, getting a little too fat to squeeze through. And here we go. And that's the whole level. Really? And last but hopefully not least, we have passed a planet. What exactly that could mean, I have no idea. Knock the ball into the goal past the monster goalkeeper. You need to score five times. Oh, okay. So, oh yeah, we've, we've got Earth. And now we're the ones on the offensive. What do you mean monster goalkeeper? Oh my God, let me guess. You were the, the one taking shots at me, weren't you? You think you can spaghettify people? Well, just you wait, I'm, I'm the real spaghettification master. How do I shoot, shoot? Oh my God, this is gonna be impossible. Fortunately, we have no shortage of Earths. <laughs> Yes, suck it. Suck on both those meaty balls. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I'm starting to get the idea here. <laughs> Interplanetary soccer is a little tricky, but first you get control of the world, and then you line yourself up, and then just kind of charge it through. It's real difficult though, okay? It, it's, it's like trying to throw a baseball at another baseball that's already mid-flight. <laughs> Very tricky, but you can charge it past him. He's a very aggressive goalkeepy. Goal, goalkeepy? <laughs> My brain is seriously getting sucked in to this stupid hole. And I keep throwing it into him. Goaltender or goalie, or, or goalkeeper or goalie. Uh, not goalkeepy, the goalkeepy doesn't a th isn't a thing, doesn't a thing. Oh my God, just, just kill me. Just end my suffering. <laughs> there has to be some kind of trick to this. Stop coming out so far. That's not fair. <laughs> Maybe if I just kind of go. Okay. We gotta go up high. We gotta kind of get right up in his bread box. Something like this. You can't, can't stop those. Never gonna be able to stop those. <laughs> we found our sweet spot in space. Come on now, do, do, it, do it again, do it again. Mmm, that's the good stuff. Uh, are we done? It seems like in the, the landslide of a victory, the Marses have decided to rush the field. And hopefully I'll get to the point where I can, mm, 
that's how soccer should be played, right? The winners eat the losers. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Tasty Planet Forever, guys. And I gotta say, even though a lot of those levels were disappointing, you'll never know because I cut them out, it was still very different. You know, I didn't expect to be playing games other than just eating stuff and growing bigger. And there are a bunch more hidden characters and a bunch more bonus levels that I could play. I don't know if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, or maybe I could return and be the black hole, but finish the game the same way the Grey Goo did. That could be a potential episode. I have no idea. You guys have to let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas for this game if you want to see more. And if not, I'll keep my fingers crossed that there's another Tasty Planet game at some point because I really do enjoy them. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.